They joined the service in their heyday, having risen to the ranks of major generals and brigadier generals and reached the peak of their glittering careers. So they know it's time to bid the service goodbye. Retirement does not mean a man's contribution is over. Retirement indeed means a transition to a new type of contribution. For those that are still in service, His Excellency has asked that I express his loyalty, that I express his love for the armed forces of the country, that I express the fact that he is available to them at any time. Accompanied by family and friends, the retirees exchanged banters with their colleagues. They say every officer looks forward to a day like this. We have trained a lot of uh, officers and soldiers. Uh, many of us even died in the process. So we have offered a lot to the nation. The army job comes with a lot of challenges. You know, right from inception, from second lieutenant, you have to go through a series of challenges before uh, you get to the apex of your career. All I have to say is for those that have come behind us, that they should keep the flag flying, they should remain dedicated, they should remain focused, and they should remain very loyal to the federal government of Nigeria. In the first place, it's not for everybody, it is only for officers who attain the rank of general. And again, even if you are really, uh, I mean, at the age of general and you are probably disgraced out, you are not attached to this kind of pullout. For their spouses, the sacrifices have been enormous and they can't wait to have their husbands back. Well, I'm glad to have my husband back from the clutches of the military. Yes, it's great now. Um, it's just like a second honeymoon. <laughs> yeah. As they leave the barracks wondering what the future holds for them, this is probably the last time any of them will be seen in this uniform. For them, the fight against terrorism has stopped. But for those who are still in the service, the journey for winning the war against insurgency remains. Ivy Kano, TVC News, Lagos.